Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It's Trixie here with Pick a Tricks. I am going to be getting a March of 2023 reading going for you. I have the Mystical Moments to row out. This is going to have the 83 cards in the deck, Cancer. It has both masculine and feminine cards for all four kings as well as the emperor. <clears throat> You're in a vibe. You're the uh, fifth sign I've done today, Cancer. I'm actually pretty stoked to tap into your energy. I feel like you're feeling yourself. You're good. I uh, have the tattoo tarot here as well that I'm going to clarify these readings with. You have a big old decision to make that is going to bring justice into your life. This is a... I don't know what this decision is. The cat just walked by the door. So, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, thank you so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please keep in mind I'm not a licensed physician, so if you're not feeling well, the Hermit Cancer for the first week, and um, the Three of Swords for the second week. Okay. Um, I do want to tell you it's time to come down off that lighthouse and emerge. Shine your little light, Camp Cancer. You have a lot to shine. You're, you're bright like a diamond. Some of you need to go listen to Riri's song, Shine Bright Like a Diamond. Um, you have some sort of situation that your heart is really stuck on, Cancer, in the second week here. Some of y'all need to go to the water. Nine of Pentacles, independent, success, stability, um, a cycle. Nines really mean cycle, in, like cycles are coming to a close. Tens are where the cycle closes. So I do feel like you are going, going through a little bit of a cycle that <clears throat> y'all need to eat more fruit. The Queen of Swords, the last week of the month. I'm going to come back to these cards. You have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You're really stressed out. Oh, man, and behind it is a Two of, two of, it's two of Swords. So, uh, yeah, you have a really big old decision to make. And your perspective is shifting this month. A big old perspective shift. And uh, I feel like you've been kind of stuck in a zone for a while. Like you've been working on some inner work, some inner demons, some inner child work. And this month is really about healing that. You know, and I almost said this earlier, you're going to pick up a blue feather. It, you might buy it. You might find it on the ground. I don't know if it's a blue jay. Somebody asked that. It's a blue feather. It could be something as silly as being at like Party City and like a boa, boa and like Mardi Gras boa loses a blue feather. That blue feather is going to have you Google something. I don't know that it's necessarily the spiritual meaning behind blue feathers, but that blue feather is pointing you in a direction. And that is going to answer some questions this month for you. Blue means truth. It's throat chakra. Eight of Swords and a Two of Pentacles. Wow. All right. So I did shuffle these cards before I came on. And uh, Jim and I have these cards. So um, if you have a Gemini placement, you're going to want to go watch that. I said, you're going to have a decision to make. You have, you're, you've been stuck in some sort of situation here with this Eight of Swords and this Nine of, this uh, Hermit card, really. It's a Nine, though. Eight, Nine isolated, um, alone, feeling trapped, feeling scorned, sadness. You have to pull yourself out of this. What are you grieving? Some of you are just in fear, uh, but some of you are in grief and that grief looks like fear. It feels like fear. It's funny. She's like up on top of some really high, tall lighthouse, but do we know if she's afraid of heights? Maybe she's partaken in something that she's afraid of. And she doesn't know how to get down. She needs help. What's this three of swords, spirit? 
Ooh, the Empress. Um, man, you see this coming. You see this choice already. You're very aware of what's coming in the second week, the first week. I feel like, actually, I feel like you're aware, but you don't realize that this is what's going down. Probably not until, until, uh, until April. You'll look back and be like, oh my gosh, that's what that Empress in that Three of Swords was. Let's get one more card for this Three of Swords and this Empress. Um, the Three of Wands. Yeah, it's like where once you had heartbreak cancer, it's like now you're going to have relief. You're being provided with some sort of resource. You're a little bit melancholy. Collie. And it's almost like you're struggling to be appreciative of what you have. And in the third week of the month, it's like all that appreciation comes forth. Yeah, seven of swords and the lovers and nine of pentacles. There's something that you love a lot. Maybe you've done life independently. You're going to marry somebody or you're going to meet somebody. Or um, if you're in a situation right now, you might realize that the person that you're currently with, you love yourself more. <clears throat> um, you know, authentic love where two people come together and they get married and last two lifetimes together, Cancer. Those people are mirror images of one another and they, you know, the seven of coins is fears and worries and being disappointed that something didn't work out. And so I do feel like there is something in your life in March that is just not working. And it's, it's divinely orchestrated to propel you down some path so that you can be more of something. And if we're being honest, the seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles equals a 16. That's a tower, uh, which equals another seven. So that would be the chariot. Um, the lovers being out here really tells me that you are engaged in or dealing with some sort of situation that you just don't feel like it's as prosperous as it could be. Um, that's because you know you deserve better. This energy deserves better. It's time for you to recognize the situation for what it is. You feel pretty trapped in this situation. Queen of Swords, I feel like you feel like your hands are forced. Somebody might break your heart in the month of March. You might break somebody's heart. I don't think that it's like unexpected though. It might be for a few of you. Um, if you're breaking somebody's heart, I feel like you're going to do it in the most compassionate way. You're just going to be that motherly fatherly um energy here some of you have a virgo taurus capricorn on your mind and you're not sure how to go after them what's the worst they say no this two of pentacles and this hermit and this eight of swords you're holding yourself back so is um so is gemini so if you have a Gemini placement, that, that reading's got a lot to say to you. The Ten of Coins is on the bottom of the deck. So the Emperor came out here, and they are looking at each other. This Empress and this Emperor are looking at each other. So you may well come into uh, harmony with a counterpart in this month. If you're not in a relationship, you very well could fall in love in the month of March with somebody. You might just be becoming more balanced in your own right. You might be making head over heart decisions that are in alignment with you and what you desire and what you dream of. A legacy is definitely forming here. You have some sort of situation and I feel like you're just over, over analyzing this. Which means that you're repelling something because if you're overanalyzing it and you're up all night about it and you're worried about it and you're stressed about it, you're creating this mental blockage, this um, pain and suffering situation. 
in the first week. And I feel like it takes you some time to get out of that. Some of you have a creative endeavor that you need to pour your heart and soul into beginning in the second week of the month. That thing that you pour your heart and soul into, you're going to realize where there is no fruit to bear in certain aspects of your life. And that's going to propel you to make some sort of head over heart decision towards the end of the month. That leads to legacy. That leads to you speaking a truth, receiving a truth, um, being very mature about some sort of decision and insight and wisdom that's best for you. Man, I know a cancer out there, and I'm pretty damn proud of this cancer. I don't know if this cancer watches um, my readings. I know that they have access to them. But this cancer recently, and I'm going to toot this cancer's horn, because this cancer um, decided to recently pull back their energy on somebody, including themselves, um, and decided to go from a, an, a digital, you know, like an iPhone to a foot phone. This person, I can't even express to you um, the level of maturity that this person decided when they to prescribe to when they made this decision. Um, it was a head over heart decision that didn't just impact their ability to simplify life or humble themselves, but it also impacted their responsibility with finances, with um, time with showing up in places. And I'm not sure that this cancer has any idea of the impact truly just yet of how that small decision will impact them long term. I do feel like cancer, it's something like that, where you have a decision to make that could impact other people. Because realistically, if you have a flip phone, you can't just check your email. You can't just get on your mobile banking app, transfer money. You can't pop on Facebook whenever you want. That changes your whole life. And it's a really great metaphor because this person is a cancer. And I'm freaking proud of that kind of move. Uh, anyone in my life that's making those kind of moves, that's for them, that's out of self-love, where they recognize this choice is something vital to their growth, that's this month. Um, so I hope this cancer uh, is, is having another month like this because this month feels 10 times more important and prominent and successful for cancer than it did the moment that this person decided to go back to analog. And so... Um, I hope that this person isn't upset that I use their story, uh, but I, you know, there is definitely some pride going on here where you're making some head over heart decisions, not out of pride, but because you know it's time for you to get out of some sort of self-imposed prison. And that means you got to come down off your mountain. That means you got to shine your light. You got to be a beacon for other people. You got to pour your heart and soul into other people. Um, let me give you another example, Cancer. Uh, recently, I met somebody from Ukraine and that, this person was very, very, very embarrassed that they were from Ukraine. And a few days later, I was with them again and I went up to them and I grabbed their hands and I put their hands in mine and I said, you're a survivor and I'm proud of you and you need to hear that. Please don't ever be ashamed that you're from Ukraine. And so there's something here like that. Like you have power to, to see people and hear people and feel people. But you have to be willing to, to recognize your own power. And there, this month is really about showing you how you, you're you holding yourself back. And Gemini's kind of had a similar vibe here. This feels like a breakthrough month for you. You know, some of you need like an outdoor garden, outdoor sanctuary. You need to go back to the gym. You have too much weight on. Um, your joints are hurting. You're setting into rheumatoid arthritis type of vibes. And all you need to do is go lose 50 pounds, 30 pounds, 20 pounds, depending on your who you are. Okay? The hangman and the emperor and the queen of swords. Yeah. You're on pause this month. You put your, you, you put yourself there. And I feel like you put yourself there because you know it's time for you to face some inner some inner things. I'm not going to say demons because I don't know that that's what it is. It's more like you are seeing the reality of your life and your situation, realizing where there are there is no fruit to bear in a situation. For some of you, you have the power of just like changing your diet and that changes your reality. Okay. This month, you're on a fool's journey. You're really coming into harmony with yourself, what's best for you, what you want to do, how you want to level up, where you want to go, who's down for you. Six of wands, eight of swords, two of coins, and the hermit. Yes, you successfully are going somewhere. You're coming down off of some sort of mountain. You are shining your brilliance. Look at this fairy. 
tricking that hummingbird. Huh. So she can go where she wants to go. Now, don't emotionally manipulate people. That's a totally different scenario, okay? And if you don't understand the difference between emotional manipulation and using your natural abilities to manifest your life, then uh, you're the problem, okay, in, in society. Um, do not abuse your natural, abu uh, natural talents, okay? The Empress, Three of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, there's just something here where you are not on the same page with many somebodies, actually, probably three or four. And um, <clears throat> there's no fruit there. Things are not ripe yet. It's not harvest time. It's not the season. It's not ready. And uh, an Empress would know that. She'd be like, yeah, it's just not time to harvest yet. It's not September 21st. Sorry. I can't go pick that that lettuce. I can't go pick that apple. It's not ready. If I pick it now, it's it it's gonna taste terrible. Something's not ready here, Cancer. And um, this month is about getting you ready. You're getting ready for some sort of harvest. Um, some sort of a bounty, abundance, a decision that's going to be in your future. Page of Cups, the Lovers, and the Seven of Coins, and the Nine of Pentacles. You know, I almost said that earlier. Um, you need to be listening to your higher self because there could be a distraction that kind of comes into your life in this month trying to, trying to knock you off your rocker, bring you backwards. Um, this probably is an energy from the past. I'm not going to call it a person because I don't know that that's what it is. For some of you, this is like... Uh, isn't spring break in March? So it's like, I don't have kids, so, um, and I haven't taught in years. So I think spring break's typically in March, and this could be something as, like, you're on spring break, and you have all your friends from your childhood back in your life, and they're going to make you do and ask you to do, and you're going to be a part of stuff that's super childish. Um, is that stuff in alignment with the version of you are that you are today? Um, and maybe you're not on spring break, but everybody can apply that metaphor because when we came home from school or we had spring break sessions, we always act a fool, right? We always do stuff we wouldn't do when we have responsibilities when we got to wake up to the alarm clock on spring break, right? You just get up, do what you want. This is a head over heart, heart choice in the third week of the month where you don't get distracted during spring break. You have responsibilities and priorities and you need to keep them up. Okay, you want that fruit, you want to harvest it, come the end of September, don't skip. Don't skip leg day. Okay, somebody need to hear that. Don't skip leg day. Why is this hanging me on this emperor and this queen of swords? Yeah, six of swords. All right. Uh, some of you are moving in the month of March. Four of cups. The Three of Cups and the Four of Cups are on the bottom of the deck. So, you know, um, this month is going to be one for the books for you. You have a breakthrough month, but you do need to be willing to look at it as some conversations, some situations, some connections, some people, places, things. Yeah, you, you do feel a little bit heartbroken this month. But it's more of like you're heartbroken, you're heartbroken because it's time. Like, it's just time. And you know that. It's like, it's, um, it's like, it's like, it's like the last day of vacation. You know, you don't really want it to come, but then when it comes, you're actually more relieved about it coming than you are about it coming because you're like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so nice to be in my own bed, to do laundry, to cook a normal meal. Um, this is like when you, you go to Vegas and if you've never been to Vegas, you literally can't find fruit anywhere in Vegas. You can't just like go ask anybody for a steamed vegetables anywhere that everything's so fancy whether you're in old town or new town. And it's like at the end of a trip in Vegas, all you want to do is go home and eat something home cooked and not greasy and fried. And you know, it's that kind of vibration. This month is the last day of vacation. This month is the last meal before you get to go home and eat something hearty and full of love and freshness. Okay. Um, there is a sense of freshness coming into your life, but you do have to go through this month. And while this month 
could feel a little heavy, your decision and your perspective on how you look at this month is going to determine the outcome of it, okay? Um, and how you feel at the end of it. You can't see something right now. You can't see the forest through the trees right now, uh, Cancer, and that's okay. You're exactly where you're meant to be. Sorceress, rituals, power, will. Yeah, you're really freaking powerful and you don't even realize it. Okay. Um, by the time you see Holly, and some of you that's an actually person, an actual person, by the time you see Holly again, and this isn't like you forgot to take down your Christmas decorations so it's still on the mantle. This is like the next time you put up Holly or you see Holly in, in decorations for the holiday season, um, you're going to be a very different person. And I feel like telling you I'm proud of you. So keep it up. Um, you are unfolding some sort of portions of your legacy. A lot of head over heart decisions going on here. Okay. You are in a pause. You're in a still. A stillness. Um, you're being asked to look at all the factors, all the figures. Figure out. <clears throat> I don't know what you're figuring out, but a Knight of Pentacles, an Eight of Swords, a Hermit, a Two of Pentacles, um, the Page of Cups, the Seven of Coins, the Hangman, Six of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. You're definitely in a state of pause. You're on. You're on pause. And with a 33 out here, and the Lovers, it's because you have a massive head over heart decision. Empress and Emperor. I do feel like some of you are single watching this, and you're really trying to manifest that partner. This month, you are being asked to go through some decisions to tap into both your masculine and feminine sides and come into alignment. And that alignment will propel you forward. Okay? Um, so, I hope that this helps. I think this is a great month for you where you're really standing firm in who you are as a person and figuring out who you want to be at that. Um, so, congratulations. Some of you are going to humble life down. You're going to simplify life and uh, go for it. Because I can tell you now, right now, that that, um, my story about the flip phone friend, I know that that person's doing, doing hot right now. I mean, that, that cancer is, is living their best cancer life. And, um, you know, don't be afraid of the decision you're about to make. It's meant for you. Do it. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing, as well as checking out all of your big four. I'll get it to you next time.